This is Windows 10. I know you'll probably knew this, but we're gonna take a look at this one transformation pack file which makes your Windows 10 version 21H2 looks like Windows 7. Here we are on the desktop of Windows 10 LTSC 2021 which uses 21H2 as the base as you can see within the settings as well as the winfer. Double clicking the executable file, you can see that there's a loading screen with Windows 7 on it. Before you run the program, make sure your Windows copy has been updated to at least February 2024 quality update in order to not break the modification with further updates. The first page welcomes you to the installations as well as the credits for people who contribute to this transformation pack, mainly I'm Sword Queen, who you might know created the Windows 8 to 7 transformation pack. Agreeing the license agreement and you get to choose which branding for the OS, either Windows 10, Embedded POS Ready 7, or Windows 7 Ultimate. You can also choose what ribbon style or for several applications like WordPad and Paint. As this is a closed beta version of the app, you only have status back plus plus as you start menu transformer. And in the future, perhaps OpenShell will be supported. You can choose what glass style you want and which color option you want to keep from Windows 10. But wait, you can also restore all the control panel applets with this. But it only works if you have set the display language to English United States. So make sure you set your display language to English US for experiencing the full transformation. The final step of the wizard offers you more customization with UX theme patcher. Windows 7 user account page, Windows 7 games, gadgets, task manager, Windows Media Center, this administrative menu, and legacy user account control. When you click the Transform Now button, the system will go through four stages. The first stage is file preparation. The second stage is app installations. The third page is for registry tweaks. And the final stage is for file replacements. This personally took me over an hour because I'm running via virtual machine even with the powerful Dell laptop. Performance will be better if you are running on the physical machine. One hour later. 20 minutes later. After the transformation finished, there's the Windows 7 lock screen background, although the logon screen itself can't be changed without going through many file modifications. Wait, what? Error? Here we are on a Transform Windows 10 desktop and we can see that there are already some changes visible in here such as the Recycle Bin icon and the Windows 7 taskbar. Although the Windows 10 desktop background is still visible. And when you look at the taskbar, Internet Explorer, Windows Explorer, and Windows Media Player aren't pinned by default. The Action Center is still there and can't be hidden because, well, this is Windows 10. Some flouts in the taskbar like the time and date and sound flyout has been changed to use Windows 7s. But the network flyout is not changed, but it will perhaps in the future version when there is an available patch. Looking at the start menu, thanks to start is back, you get a very close resemblance layout and theme to Windows 7. Except there's not pinned app like the Internet Explorer and Welker Center, as far as I remember. And there is no games option because the games folder has been removed since version 1803. Aside from that, this is a very nice one with, well, all programs intact. You also get Windows 7 games in here. Opening Getting Started, or Welcome Center, this is a very nice recreation of it, although there is no animation in between items. Opening the file explorer, the favorites doesn't list the recent places and left the recent files from Windows 10 intact. The favorites listing can be seen at the left too. But the libraries are pretty much accurate apart from the library's text description missing. Moving to my computer, by comparing this to Windows 7 side by side, it doesn't look too different, right? Until you look at the Organize option which shows icon across all options unlike Windows 7s. And moving a bit to the layout, yeah, 
This is a pretty accurate to Windows 7. Even when I try to do comparisons between Windows 7s and this ones, it is pixel to pixel. Perfect. Back to computer, the command bar is functional as it really should. By going to the system properties, it already feels like Windows 7. But unfortunately, you can't do Windows Experience Index Test. Unless if you want to do more modifications inside by yourself. Clicking the uninstall or change a program shows you the programs and features applet. And open settings, instead of showing the Windows 10 settings, it shows control panel. Right click into desktop and from the service, you can see that, well, icons are changed to the one you see in Windows 7. And as we remember before, we can get the older control panel applet versions of some settings. For example, the screen resolutions and the personalization applet. Speaking of that, you get all Windows 7's theme plus regular themes, although some themes are in different places than Windows 7's. Oh, also, did you see that there's a Windows 7 dark theme? Yeah, because this is one of the latest version of Windows 10, you can get dark mode with this transformation pack. How cool is that? Well, even the start menu, you can't get that in Windows 7, aren't you, Windows 7 users in 2024? Yeah, I'm calling you. You ought to do this instead of stuck in Windows 7 for years after its end of support. Also in here, you get the Windows 7 Basic, which doesn't really look basic. And Windows Classic, which also doesn't look that classic. But hey, this is the Windows 10's lower C-level limitation, which some people can get it working, well, maybe. Gadgets are working in here out of the box, and you can install new gadgets if you download or have the installation file. Heading back to control panel, by choosing the large icon as the view mode, all icons are transformed into Windows 7. But hey, don't get me wrong, even in Windows 11, some icons are still using Windows 7 design. Thanks to Microsoft! <laughs> Some applets are missing or added in here with this comparison side by side. Sample media is available such as well, sample music and sample pictures, which I noticed that it misses the Windows Photo Viewer. Well, you can activate it via Windows Tweaker, right? Yeah, you can. Oh yeah, the iconic Windows Media Center is also in here. Oh gosh, the VM is halted. The disk is missing. Oh, it turns out that this is entirely gone from the file explorer. Well, I think we have a solution for that one. Mini tool partition wizard. With this tool, you can analyze the partition or the disk you want to. Well, you can do a service test with the partition to see if there's anything wrong in it. You can create partition, set the partition to logical, change the drive letter, Convert it to FAT if you want some compatibility with older OS, split the partition, and so many more that you can see within the program. Clearly, this is an advantage for you to modify the selected partition or disk as much as you can. Oh, wait, not only that, you can actually copy any partition to any disk, migrate the OS to any SSD or hard drive, which is practical when you got a new laptop or PC or just want to replace the SSD or hard drive. And the most beneficial out of all, the partition recovery, which recovers any partition that was lost during some troubles like faulty hard drive, electrical sudden outage, or anything that made it happen. Aside from that, you can get to benchmark this with various options and modes. This can be a good way to tell the speed or the performance of your disks, which in this case, I'm using the external hard disk. I don't know if this performance is good or bad, tell me in the comments. You can also analyze what files or folders that are on any disk or partition using this space analyzer. Anyway, by creating a partition, assigning the same drive letter as it was, well, there it is. The partition is back. No worries about the files that I, as I can just install back all of the machines or using the partition recovery. Don't worry about that. But I am worrying is you not trying this out. You can check out the link in the description for trying out this software and honestly, it's good. Back to the VM and reopening Windows Media Center 
it reported as Windows 7 <laughs> with Windows 8.1 version string, but well, nonetheless, it's here, right? As if you know how to use it. Moving to games, yeah, Windows 7 games are available in here, with this Solitaire as an example. Well, <laughs> didn't even play that long and I, it, well, it already ended itself. Poor Solitaire. Unlike several Windows 10 to 7 mods before, this transformation pack has Windows 7 jump list design. Small detail, but this is definitely an advantage over previous iterations. Another small detail is the Windows 7 user account control. Although in this version, it still uses the error style rather than basic in the actual Windows 7. Windows 7 Auto is also in here if you are wondering. Looking at the WinVer, you can see that the branding is also changed, but inside, it's still Windows 10. That means you can still get Windows 10 features such as Windows 10 settings and other UWP apps if you know how to install it. Windows Task View and Virtual Desktop feature is also staying in here. Honestly, this is a feature I still want to keep from Windows 10 because it's a huge advantage for me personally who uses the computer for multitasking, especially with multiple monitors. With that said, there are still quirks and caveats you need to take a look though. Well, since Windows 7 is using light mode by default, although it's good to see Windows 7 in dark mode, it's not 100% perfect. Because some applications such as WordPad and Paint don't go too well with modification made, which causes it to look, well, odd. Also, help and support doesn't do anything. DVD Maker isn't working, and the taskbar closing animation is different than in Windows 7. I have to emphasize again, if you are still missing the Windows 7 look overall, you can try this with your Windows 10 21 H2 installations. I don't know if this will work in 22 H2, but perhaps it will. I can't say that this is way better than Windows 7, but I can recommend this transformation pack for you to get the Windows 7 look while still getting updates officially from Microsoft. Don't forget that this is just better than...